I'm Katie. I'm Rebecca. And I'm Hunter. And this is the Family Showdown! Howdy folks, welcome to my top 100 games of all time. I'm Hunter, this is Rebecca. Tonight we're presenting my 90 to 81. Let's give you a little, little sneak peek. Sneak peek. Sneak peek. Sneak peek. Sneak peek. So we got uh, five new games. Five, five new games again. Five ah. new games and coincidentally, five not new games. Bravo. I think we, but, deja vu anyone? But one of those games was not on my list last year. But it is on the list this year. Yeah. We'll have a little discussion. Oh, so not new. It's an old game. But, but it was on the list last year. But it has risen among we'll the ranks. To, we'll have a little, we'll have a little, little chit-chat about that Ooh. momentarily. Let's kick it off right away. Right away with my number 90, a brand new game. One of the new ones. Okay. okay. That is... Uh, Hadrian's Wall. This will be on my list next year, straight up. So, uh, so, so, uh, so good. This is like, um, like a unicorn, like a, like a magical, a mystical, sparkly, like anomaly. It's a space anomaly. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Because it's a roll and write, and I, as a rule, with one exception apparently, do not like roll and writes, flipping writes, fl flicking writes. Dancing rights, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> but this one, one, this one's sneaky. It's sneaky because you're sneaking around a wall. It's like a heavy Euro resource management game hidden in a roll and write. Sneaky. sneaky. Very sneaky. Very so, sneaky so, 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 so I got story time about this game. Oh, okay, okay. So, we're tricked. So, we were, we were at Board Game Geek Con, uh, and we were preparing to do a thing for the Dice Tower, a, like our top 10. Quick to play 2021 games. So I did a little search. I did, did all the 2021 like games that too. takes an hour or less to play, and this yep. one takes uh, an hour to play. There you go. And uh, I, so we got a big pile of them. We went off to off by our lonesome and, and kind of worked through them. I opened this up and I'm like, wait, this is a rolling right almost. I was like this close to going. Get this out of here. But I thought I'll give it a shot. I've heard good things. And wowzer. <laughs> and Wowzer? And Wowzer. It is a good one. Wowzer. But there's one major drawback to this game. It's a roll and write. Well, that besides that. <laughs> so this box oh, weighs 20 pounds. That's and it's you, true, And though. you wonder it's why. True, it's true, though. Is it the rule book? Nay. Is it the little baggies of components? Negative. Nay. Is it the little, the little cardboard bits here? That's a little bit. Wall. Is it the cards? Barely. Not really. Is it the massive block of paper they give you in this game? Yes. yes. I play this game. I have ah, never ah, seen the amazing. likes of this. This is amazing. This is a ream of paper that they put in this box. So much winning anyway. in this box. That's that's winning. When we played it at Board Game Geek, they had they had laminated sheets, so it weighed like one tenth. It, or less than, than our me. version. And the box and it came in the mail, I'm like, what is this? <laughs> what is in this box? <laughs> anyway, I found it. I'm easily amused. And, and, it's true, though. And uh, that amused me that we got a ream of paper. The, they killed they killed a forest of trees. Very Roman of to, them. To make a Hadrian's Wall. <laughs> uh, anyway, I thought that was funny. That's funny. Anyway, That's this funny. is uh, by far the most complicated roll and ride I've ever seen or heard of. Um, but it's well worth it because it got that Euro... That Euro feel to it because it really feels it's like awesome. it feels like a resource management game. It is a bear to teach because there's a bazillion little boxes you can check, uh, but once you learn it, um, replaying it, yeah, replaying it is pretty simple. It's just that there's a lot going on. It's not that it's complicated because there's things that just chain. So yeah, once you yeah. learn to recognize what each symbol stands for and whatnot, you can just bing, 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 go through it really easily. It's actually, I think that's like you said, the only reason it would be hard to teach is well, it's each, just so. Yeah, each little area is kind of like a region in the city or whatever you want to call it. Basically, you have 
you know, the market and you have the gladiator combat and you got the scouts and you got all these different regions and they all yeah. kind of work slightly different. So you have to go Just, section by section and explain how each little section works in the game. So it's kind of, kind of complicated, but I think that's why I like it because I am completely not a fan of the, you roll some dice and you mark a six off and that lets you mark a two right. off and those games. Well, and what's cool is this is one to six players. So you could play with a bunch of people and it's not going to change the time frame because yeah, everybody's very, doing it simultaneously. It's, yeah, it's all simultaneous. Stuff. I want to play that solo. I'll be completely honest. I'm not a solo player. That but, looks like fun to play solo. I'm shocked that I like this game so much. But, I am so happy right but now. I do. I'm so happy but right I do. now. I do like this game so much. I, I'm super happy about this. This is cool. We'll send them off your way this time. Uh, good. I'm so excited. Can, can I just keep this one over sure. here and kind of display it for a... Yeah. It's got to oh. go away. Oh. All right. Let's move on to my number 89. Another new game. And that is Genotype. So usually these uh, science educational games are uh, not so fun. This one's amazing. I love it. It's got worker placement. It's got dice drafting. It's got uh, superpowers. You can get assistance to give you a, like a special ability. Uh, it's got contract fulfillment. All the things I love in the game, all wrapped up in a science-y goodness. It is. <laughs> and I apparently love this way more than you because it's my 31. It's fantastic. It's phenomenal. And I'm with you. I love the dice drafting. I love the way you go about manipulating everything to try to do your, as you called it, the con contract fulfillment. Manipulate. Or like gene manipulation? Gross. Yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> and so, um, and just going through to fulfill those and create the plants that you want, you know, and it's cool. Um, the superpowers, like you said, they, they're weird because, like, you have to take away some precious worker placement things to go get those, but they can give you such a good benefit. So it's like a gamble. Do I want to go do that? And spend some time getting those when you get other junk instead. You can do you can get other stuff instead. They're gonna help you along. Are they gonna help you enough? It's a fun balance. I like that. It's a really good game. It's all right. No, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's eighty nine. It's all right. It's all right. No, I really enjoy it. Um, yeah, I just I, I like how the game flows. It uses a it uses a lot of you know it's a modern board game. It uses yeah. all the mechanisms. Yet, yet it's still got a lot of science behind it, which is really cool. Um, which you usually you get one or the other. You get like a real modern word game with kind of a little bit of science sprinkled on, yeah. or do you have like yeah. a sciencey game, which is it's kind of not flavor, modern right? modern mechanisms and stuff yeah. like that. Love it. It's a good one. Uh, if you like dice drafting, you like worker placement. It's a good one. Uh, You'll learn how to do Punnett squares. What? That's true. Like like up in Washington. That's Puget Sound. <laughs> Give me that. This is lighter than Hadrian's Wall. It's a block of paper. <laughs> this is almost... That's just some dice and some cards. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, let's move on. Oh, All right, wow. so it's another new game, technically, because it's the revised edition of a game we played way back in the day. And I think we got a list? bad play of this game, a few bad plays of this game, apparently. And so we didn't like it, so it got on, it got kind of got, it got on the naughty list, like like this is Christmas recently, it was on the naughty list, like persona non grata list. Ooh, look at you throwing up. Game, game of per, not, per, I, I give up. Anyway, we got some bad plays of it, so we kind of tossed it aside and like we just forgot about it. Also, we weren't really into heavy games yet, so it was kind of heavier than what we were used to, so that may have been part of it. Oh. But now, oh. now. I it's, think I'd... you know, it's past Caverna for me. Why? Why? I Why? Guess, because it's got the card, the card management thing, the card superpowers. It's got a lot. It's more challenging. It's tighter. If you remember, if you watched my intro to my top 100, you know, Caverna is way down at my 110. It's just because that game is like so open and it doesn't feel, I, it doesn't feel as, uh, it's like kind of just do what you want. Everything works. This one really kind of, Tightens the game up a little bit, makes it a little more challenging, in my opinion. And I particularly like the revised version because they kind of cleaned up some things that maybe I didn't like as much. I talked yeah. a lot. Longest intro ever for Agricola. 
Wow. The revised edition. Oh, oh my goodness. Although this one doesn't say the revised edition. It's, it is the revised edition. It says advanced uh, level in it red. It says on back, revised edition. Oh my goodness. Agricola, Agricola has, returned. has returned with a vengeance. So uh, technically oh, this is new to my wow. list because, again, this is a revised edition. If it wasn't the revised edition, I don't know if Agricola has ever been on my list. So it's still, I think it would still be so. new to my list um, regardless of... Uh, of the fact that it's revised or not. Anyway, I really enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, I really like how the card play uh, worked in it. Again, we have it. We played it way back in the day. It was, had to have been oh seven years ago, maybe. Um, try eight or nine. Something like that. The when child, we first, the youngest was tiny. When we first played this game, and uh, again, yeah. it just bad play. Uh, maybe heavier than we liked. All those things. We played it again recently, and I was like, wow. I really like Agricola. So, oh my! Yeah, don't, 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 don't. You seem, you seem shocked. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, right? I'm. Are, are you okay? I are don't you, know. Are you okay? I feel, <laughs> I feel faint. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I'm ready to play. In fact, I'm ready to play it again. I don't know if I want to dive into the bazillion different card sets they okay, have for good, Agricola. I'm, like, I'm, I'm happy with the the base, the new revised base game, and that's okay. all we need. Um, but I really like the play of it. Um, I'm ready to play. Yeah, we had fun. I I really enjoyed it. I like, really enjoyed it. I like Caverna better. I used to, but that ship has sailed. Apparently, boo boo. <laughs> Here comes Agricola. So this this will make some uh, a lot of hardcore gamers happy. It'll make some Caverna lovers sad. I don't know. Made I, me sad. But in the grand scheme of things, they're pretty close together. They're within like 20 places of each other. So they're. Spoilers. I think I think I already did Caverna. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> it's just it's just that this one um I don't know, it just feel Caverna just feels too open and too What? And this what? one feels like you gotta really kinda Like you gotta feed your people. You gotta you gotta feed your people, you That's gotta have a plan. You, do. you just feed your people. Maybe. But you can bake bread. And feed your people. Love it. Curricula is back. The be the beast is back. The feed your people game. The Beast is back. Yeah, this is the this so is the, 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 the brand now. new Z Revised version. You used to version. make fun of this game. I told you. I explained what myself. I explained happened? myself. What my you did. <laughs> All right, let's move on. That was amazing. That was my number eighty-eight. <laughs> let's move on to the. Here it is. This is where where uh, this year. This is this right is, now. This is where, uh, as year. they say, um, how they say it. You eat see, eat some crow. Is that what they call it? Eat Not some? the last one. This is the this one is where I eat some crow. What is happening? So for 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 the longest time, there's kind of two versions of this game. There's the regular card version, and then there's the dice version. Oh my gosh! I've you did not. I've always you put the not. dice version ahead of the card version. But this year, if you're paying attention to my list and watched my intro, you know that I'm kind of putating games that are kind of harder to get to the table for the most part. There's some heavier games that I'll, I'll, I'll deal with. It. But when we played the card version of this game, it was super quick to set up. It was super easy for us to relearn, it was, and it played super fast. When I, in my mind, I thought if we did the dice version of that game, it would be harder to set up. It would take longer to get to playing. It would take longer to relearn the game. So, thusly, Race for the Galaxy has um, just it. It took the dice game and went oh, beat it up. Wow, I I'm speechless. Race for the Galaxy but in a different way from Agricola. Yeah, I've I come around. See, I see, I come around for Agricola, and I've come around for oh. Race for the Galaxy. She's happy about one. She's sad about the other. I'm just glad I'm sitting down at this point. Okay, because this is... All I know is that we, 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 last time we played this, we set it up, we're playing within minutes, and we were done in less than half an hour. I'm just that fun to play with. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> beside the point, but... Good save, good save. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say other things, but oh, I knew it. Anyway, admirable. This one, I was, like I said, no, this is. I'm excited now. I'm excited. You've come to the. the I've come full circle and back, as it were. I've seen light because Roll for the Galaxy spoilers. Like I just said, it's lower on my list. That's insane. It's dropped down to my. Ooh, where You're is not it? next to each other anymore. No, not even close. Where is it? 
I, Whoa. Think, I think I just threw it in the trash. Better not have. It's a good game. Where is it? Roll 145. Holy 145. Cannoli. You have... it, just, it just really, like I said, it really kind of hammered home the last time we played this. is like, do I really want to pull out and, and relearn and set up and organize? And you're like, no. When we can just shuffle up and deal. And, uh, yeah. You've come and I would still way. play. I still love Roll for Galaxy. 145 is not that low. Um, but it's abysmal. If I was given the choice, if I was given my druthers, I would pick this game over that one. Thusly, I'm going to it is higher up on the list. There's a pinky raised in your honor. So this one was a one. This is the one that I've spoken about at length that was off my list and came back on my list. It was my 134 last time. So they kind of swapsies because. Uh, wow. Roll for the galaxy. Where is it? I Oh, I didn't write what it was before, but they kind of almost swapped positions. They did. This is out of control. It is out of control. But, man, you look at this. You look, let me show you. I'll show you real quick. You take this out. You put put some victory points out. Here we go. I don't know. I think it's like 20-something. Oh, my gosh. You're put, actually put out some victory points. Take out the cards. And you shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. And you just deal some cards out. And we're, we're playing. Yeah, we're totally playing right now. <laughs> I'm playing. You're gonna be playing. I got, the, uh, I got the mining conglomerate. Conglomerate. That word. I get all the victory points. I win! Look anyway. at me! I just won the game, guys. What? Give me the bag. What did I just do? I don't know what you're doing, man. Anyway, I, no more I'll caffeine. I'll a point. You are cut off from your caffeine. And then, especially and then, roll, that was loud. Roll for the galaxy. We have to even walk all the way over there to get the cups because the cups don't fit in the box anymore. So that's why it got penetrated. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I, I'm, in, I'm, 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 yeah, yeah, speechless, I, that, yep, speechless, I, I it am speechless. <laughs> All right. That was my number 75, so we're like in the same ballpark. We that. are. Look at that. Speaking of the same ballpark, this is a game I like almost as much as you. It was my 81, it's funny, it was my 81 last year, it was my 81 the year before that. So 81, 81, 86. So right. interesting. Okay, and we like same. it about the same amount. That is Res Arcana. We like it about the same amount. He says to what? my number six. Eighty spaces is pretty close. Six. Eighty spaces. Hey, this is a light. What I consider a light card game, and it's on my list. So it's like a miracle. Whoa! It's like the other unicorn. Was the other unicorn the Rowan Wright? Here's a light. A light. What I consider a light card game. This is how I'm always, because I really love it. And like I said, I said this about some other game. What did I say this about? My number six. Awkward Guess, maybe? I don't remember what it was. Guess. Last time I said something about the, her love of it, like, oozes over onto me. I, nothing like oozy. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just going to leave that alone. Just, just, <laughs> I'm going to leave that behind. Res Arcana, this is awesome. It's a resource management. Uh, it's kind of almost like a... Not really a deck building, but you're if you play deck if if you play if you don't play the spending. random deck drafting deck is that spending. a word deck drafting. So anyway, if you don't play if you play the advanced version or whatever it is where you draft you draft your deck. I think it's eight cards. That's your entire deck. You play with you basically you you draw a few cards and you slowly cycle through and spend your cards. And eventually, you build a tableau um, to get resources and use those resources to buy things that give you victory points. And you're eventually racing to a certain number of victory points. I think it's with the expansions that we have. I think it's thirteen now. I can't remember something like that. Some some, some weird number now. Um, Doesn't matter. It's awesome. Uh, anyway, so we have we recently played this right before I made my list with the new expansion, the Pearl. What's it called? Pearl Lustrous oh, Illuminati. Oh, oh, Illuminous Pearl. Whatever. What's the name of the expansion? Oh, I totally forgot. Pearls of Power. What is it? Pearl I am Perry E. Yeah. Anyway, we played with the new expansion. We really enjoyed that. Um, it just kind of hammered home how much I like this game. It's holding steady in the 80s. Um, I may trickle down just because it's so light. Um, it might, well, for me, it's light. Uh, it's like a 30-minute game. Less than 30 minutes for us. What does it say? Nah, it's around 30 minutes for us. Uh, I think it says 45 minutes. 30 to 60 minutes. So, Look um, at me. I split it down the middle. Anyway, uh, such a good. If you're day. looking for a nice little kind of uh, resource management game, it's got some really good decision making in it. Um, I think that's why it's high on my list is that there's some good decisions there, especially when you're drafting. You're trying to look for combos that work together. 
and uh, get cards that kind of flow, and then the, you're trying to work your way through your deck to get those combos to fire off so that you can get tons of resources and buy cool cards and do some fun things. So, love it. It's a good one. It's a, it's a, it's a great one. She love, love, loves this game, and I enjoy it, but her enjoyment bleeds over. Is that better? Over oozing and bleeding. I just, anyway. you know what? No. <laughs> Ooze that game right out of here. <laughs> but it's so good. It is good. Do you want to have anything else to say? Can I keep this one up for the rest of the No. Oh. Shoot. All right. Enough with these old, old, dusty games. Let's, let's, let's get some new games How going again. How dare you, good Brand stuff. new dare list. This is not on Rebecca's game. list because we played this since she made her list. I don't think it would be on her list anyway. Ooh. Speaking of light card Ooh. games with great decision making. <laughs> Boom. It's furnace. Mm, it might. I don't know. I it's, love it's it furnace. Be, it was good. It's really good. Um, I was kind of, I was kind of like not too excited the about this one. Theme is weird. Well, it wasn't, the thing doesn't bother me. It's the, I it, the it's the, I, I really like it. It seemed like from what I just kind of in passing saw of the game, it's like a light little card drafting game. But, it's, but it's got some really great things going for it. It's got a great uh, auction system where you're bidding with little uh, I, discs. You have a disc number one to four. You use those to bid on cards. I'm not a fan of auctions. I love this auction. Yeah, the auction works great. Um, it has a, Everyone has a unique superpower that's really, really kind of a game-changing oh, yeah. superpower. Super good. Uh, it's, engine build, it's pure engine-building resource management game. You're just trying to crank out as much uh, money as you can. Whoever has the most money at the end uh, wins the game. It's just really, really solid, like tight, streamlined a game. Uh, I really, really enjoy it. It surprised me. Uh, it's yeah. another one that we kind of just tried for um, for, 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 for that, like for for that, that, that yeah. ice tower list because this yeah. one plays in 30 minutes, yeah. 20 minutes. It's like crazy. Fast. I don't see it anywhere. Oh, there it is. 30 to 60 minutes. So for us, it'd be about a 30 minute game since if we play it two player. Mm -hmm. Great game. Uh, so. the, depending on what cards come out in an auction, what combos you get, the game can play completely different. Sometimes Absolutely. you have like a really solid engine that's working really great. Sometimes you just get some bunch of cards that don't kind of work you together. Just have a busted old furnace. You have a busted old furnace. Your... <laughs> I love this game. It's no. really good. Um, uh, you know what I like about this one over a lot of those other engine builders like this? You get this card and you recruit it and you've got your tableau of stuff. Right. You don't have to put it in the order that you purchased it right. to make it all fire off. If you want to change up how things work, you can do that as long as once you play it, it's done. Right. And you, it doesn't have to stay in that order. And right, I you can find a really good that, card that may work as, so your, right, cool and as, different. as your second yeah, card, right? Yeah. Instead of having, and there is a variant where you kind of you have to put it on either end of your engine, which I would never play that version. Ugh, I might I try, no I might try you it can just have to fun see, with that, see what not. it looks like. But, no, but it's really cool because you go, <laughs> man, I, my, my engine kind of stalls out like midway through. Oh, there's a great card well, that's going to that's going to give me some resources I need to exactly. finish to keep going, right? So and Sometimes what you've got going as an engine early in the game is going to do better and differently later in the game because you're trying to right. do different things, so you wouldn't have shifted around. Right. And you can. Uh, yeah, it's just, oh, it's so good. Really, it's really, really good. solid game. Really good. Yeah. You surprised me. I'm surprised by this game, too. I know. It was uh, like, this I, is a great surprise game. It was funny that we played all these really short games just to kind of get some some meat to our list, and uh, we found a lot of we just little hidden gems. Yep. The Furnace is a good one. Good one, good one. All right. Let's move on to another new game. Nice. 84. It's new to the list. It's not super new, but we played it right after um, we made our list because I think we got this. Christmas time last year, but we played it after we made our list. Oh, so it could be on my list. So, uh, yeah. Okay. It, so my number 84, new to list, space theme, Tech Tree the Game. Oh! Beyond the Sun. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. We're about the same spot. It was my 100. Yeah. It's not the same spot. You hate this game. Yes, yeah, so my number 100. I hate it. <laughs> Tech Tree the game. So I really enjoy this game yeah. a lot. I really, I really, yep. I want some of my favorite aspects of the 4X style games, the the big space attacky games and things, is is building that tech. Right, you yeah. start off with like a little beep beep beep, and you end up with like big giant massive spaceships of death. 
this is kind of just focuses in on that. You have, do have a little map off to the side where you're doing a little bit of exploration and, it's actually really fun and building ships. It's kind of almost like a little mini game off to the side that yeah, you're doing. Yeah, that's what it feels like. And, but the main force of the game is that tech tree and, and, and building your tech and, and going up on these little tracks and getting more powerful at producing different kinds of stuff. And building ships and completing goals and all sorts of fun stuff. It's got like all the stuff I like in a game, but it, it kind of takes away that attacking and building up massive fleets and that sort of thing and focuses in on other aspects of those space super big well, space games. Because at this point, it's not about the infighting, it's about getting out of the solar system. Yep. At least that's the theme, right? So everybody's working together yeah, for it's, once. It's really, I really, really like this game. Oh, that's it, uh, cool. It, it uh, kind of gets a, a bad rap, and maybe not a bad rap. Maybe it's a a, a valid rap of of how stark and uh, almost like uh, boring. Uh, what I'm boring? Utilitarian. Uh, utilitarian. That's the word I was looking for. Very. Yeah. The the board. Very. The player boards are like white. Looks like a science spreadsheet almost, and then the board science itself is kind cooler. of muted, and it doesn't doesn't pop on the table. If you were just looking at this on the table, it looks almost like a prototype i'd hate to say that but it kind of does it does but like that, but, but go ahead you want no, to... no 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 I, I just... but coming from a a, a, a geeky accounting background oh, i appreciate geez. this game for how how easy it is to tell where everything is and how things work it's very um like it's utilitarian very it's very uh easy to use easy to read intuitive there you go that's a good word um but it's easy to tell what's going on, on the board, yep. and it doesn't have all these graphics and pictures and junk to get in the way, which I'm fine with. But some people would look at this and go, "Oh." I still look at it and go, "Oh," sometimes. But the way the game plays and works like this, make up for that. This is a player board, and it's 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 almost it, washed out. It's washed out from because the light because it's just it. white. I don't know if I can get it where it's not glaring. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was it was not glaring. Anyway, it's white with black text. That's all that the board is, the player board. Yeah, are. it's not a looker, but oh my goodness, it really is I really enjoy intriguing play, and, and it's really fun. And, and, it's, and it's, depending what it's actually really interesting. It's depending, beginning, depending on what tech, I can't speak, depending <laughs> on what techs come out, it's really, you can really find some good combos, yes, right, that, yes. that work really well together. That is fun, too, is finding those combos and racing, because once you're off... It's it's a race, right, to get through the tech tree too. Yep. I love that. It's it's really good. I enjoy it quite a bit. Yeah, this was another kind of surprise game because once you look at it, you're like, "What is this?" You yeah, know, and then you I start saw... to play, and you're like, "Wow." Yeah, I mean, we but you love we both love the tech tree aspect of the game. Yeah, so and that, space it was, theme. This was a the... insta buy, and it's a hit. Ka-ching. More of a hit for me apparently because I don't penetrate it for the. It doesn't look good. Psh. Doesn't look good. I think it looks just fine. It looks very spreadsheet. You look sheety. fine just the looks way you are on the sun. Pardon me why I Don't fuel up for the, for the next three. <laughs> fuel up for the next three. That's terrifying. That means Hunter's got something on here that's going to make... Is it going to make me crankier than no. Res Arcana? Because... All right, here's one that almost fell off my list. It just almost fell off. It was starting just, to twitch. It was Twitching. just about to fall off my list. It was right there at 100 last year. But it's back, baby. And that is Blood Rage. Oh, wow. Oh. Rage. Blood Rage. I don't think that's in my top 100 anymore. It hasn't been in your top 100 for a while. It's true, though. Blood Rage. It's a great game, though. So the more I, I play, play the other games in the trilogy, Rising Sun and Onk, is, it kind of helps me remember how much I love this game. Um, cool. I, this was like one of my faves. Let's see what we got. We, oh we just, gosh, you used to be my high. number four way back in the day. Is that yeah. right? My number that four sounds right. went from four to ten to twenty to thirty nine, all the way down to hundred, and it kind of pushed itself back. So I think I think it got kind of punished last year because I punished a lot of games that weren't getting played. But playing Ankh really made me appreciate how solid a design this wow. game is. That's cool. Love me some Blood Rage. I just wish we uh, had more opportunities to play it with more players. players. Yeah. Um, it plays, not it plays okay to players. I mean, it's not like optimal, but it's playable. Um, but when you get up into the three, four, five range, this game is really it's... good. 
Yes. I would say three for us. Three, I, think, I like three and four, five. Yes. It's kind of getting, I think it gets the board's too... getting really crowded and the turns kind of take a while to yes, go around. Yes, I agree. Um, I agree. Five's too many. If you're getting up to five, you're probably wanting to play Rising Sun. That's yes. in my opinion. I would agree with that. So for me, Ankh, if we're playing two player, Blood Rage, mm -hmm. three, four players, mm -hmm. and five players, Rising Sun. That's, I like that. That's I, kind of. I like that. I agree with that. Off, that's what I'm going to shoot for, depending on yep. the number of players we have. I like have. that. That's anyway, um, some people like more with with Blood Rage. I think three and four is good. Five, like I said, it's getting kind of crazy. But kinda love crazy. it. Um, again, I wish I had more opportunities to play it with more because it doesn't really shine at two players for sure. Anyway. But I think it kind of uh, over maybe overly punished it last year, and it's kind of recovered a little bit to, to where it should be um, for the most part. If we played, I think we got actually. If I think we got a couple of plays with this with with the three or four players, I think it would actually bounce some more, bounce, a little higher, bounce back a little more. I just just don't get a lot of opportunities to play. This is such a good one too. I just um, I love the map with the, the way the battles work and how. Because it's the end of the world, it's Ragnarok. Like slowly, the world is collapsing, and like yeah. one chunk of the board is disappearing right. every round. So right. the battling gets more and more intense. And I'm not usually a fighter out game, but this one was one of the first true like attacky and hybrid games that I really, really loved because of the way you have your deck for your 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 people and right. how you want to fight your little battles, all the different card play, and the, the fighting's really good in this. The minis are off the charts and ridiculous and overproduced and glorious, and it's just good. I like the way you spend rage to do stuff. I, I don't know. I like that in games. You know, kind of an action, action point. Yeah, kind of points thing. thing. Yeah, I enjoy that. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's back. It's back, back baby. baby. That's a good it's one. It's back, baby. Not all the way back, but a little bit back. It's funny that it's not on my top 100, but I would never turn down a play of that. All right. Let me it's take good. this beast. It's got to insert. It's very heavy. Yeah. Oh. All right. I could lift that because I lifted Adrian's wall. Let's move on to my number 82. <laughs> it's been on my night. list forever. I see how long okay. it's been on my list. All right. Let's look at since this. the beginning. It's one of the few games that's been on my since list the since the beginning. Okay. This was my... Bit very consistent. This year is the first time it really dropped. So it was my 43 way back in 2015. And 43, 52, 50, 48, 48, 56, and now 82. The only reason this dropped is I haven't had a chance to play it. I don't know. I usually get this in once a year at least because uh, it's kind of an epic oh, that game. Oh, dropped? Um, but I didn't get a play of it in this year for obvious reasons. Um, not a lot of conventions, not a lot of opportunities to play. This oh, was also okay. sadly crazy out of print, but... It's back in a retheming Cthulhu craziness, unfathomable. This is a Battlestar Galactica. I don't know. Raw board game. Oh my gosh, yeah. We this is definitely not a game you want a low player count for. This is a more yeah, the you, merrier you gotta have five, six, kind of game. Seven players. Absolutely. Five or six, seven or eight or ten with the expansion. Yeah, this is we just have the base game, but I've it's in my top usually when I play it, it's usually at a convention. And we usually play with all the expansions or some of the expansions, and obviously more people can play that way. Yeah. But I love this one. It's one of my favorites. It doesn't get this like one of those epic games you only, you only get a couple, well, at least for me, you only get a game or two of it in a year, and it, it's been a little while. And that one's, I think that's why it kind of dropped because it's, it's a convention game. And uh, for whatever reason, I didn't get a, a play. Usually I play this at Board Game Geek, uh, but I kind of concentrated on like big, massive, heavy. Uh, Euro-y style games instead of uh, Euro style splatter games and things like that. Uh, I didn't get to play this. I was going to play it, but the play was actually when me and Rebecca were hanging out, and I didn't want to spend three, four, five of our hours of us being able to hang out by playing this. So <laughs> I would not begrudge you that though if you need to get a yes, good but, play. Yes, but I am a gentleman. <laughs> you are, and a scholar. <laughs> I love me some Battlestar Galactica. This is great. It's a hidden traitor craziness. Uh, one of those games where you go, oh, I can't believe you did that. Oh, thing. I know. There's always so many good stories from it's this just, one. Like, it's just an epic game. It's an epic game. Always experience. memorable. But it is a three. All the toaster insults. That's what they say. I'm sure it's wrong. Two to three hours. That's, that's, that's if you're rocketing through the game. Yeah. It's a. It's a for You're plus a filthy toaster. Game. Yeah, I love this. Oh my gosh. Love this game. It's one. so much fun. Super thematic. Ridiculous. You don't have to 
watch the TV nah. series, but it's more fun. It is so much better if you are a fan of the show. I mean, you can make stupid Monty Python jokes or something and have the same amount of fun no. doing this. As, no, that's true. I would, I would, I would. Cylon jokes Shame. are the best. Cylon jokes are the best. Uh, anyway, this is this is a great one. It's an epic experience. If you hadn't had a chance to play it, try to pick Betrayal? it up. Betrayal? Try to, try to get one at a convention or something like that. Like I said, it's out of print, but Unfathomable is a Cthulhu uh, Lovecraftian themed uh, uh, version. As far as I know, it's very similar. It plays very, very much the same. It just kind of Took the Battlestar Galactica off and then put Cthulhu okay. on. Okay, because I was going to um, say they better not have tweaked it because this is supposedly it's, it's a very similar experience, similar okay, cool. weight, similar playtime, cool. all that stuff. Because um, I still have memories. Apparently, I hold a grudge. I love this game. I was a mechanic, and I could fix things. Oh, when we threw you in the brain, and, and they're like, they're... "You're clearly a Cylon," because she I, she ended up reasons. being a Cylon. I was not. I was not in that game. In they my mind, the you were a we almost line. lost the game because I was in the jail and couldn't repair things for people. But they were like, "But we don't want you to lose to fix things because you won't because you'll you're a Cylon." I'm you, not bitter. You, 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 I'm not bitter. You were shady. I'm not bitter. You you were I was as, not shady. As, I was doing everything to help. As and kids say these days, you I were, was not you sus. sus. I was not being sus. <laughs> you all all the vented. You, yeah. See, see, see. Have a strong marriage when you play this game. <laughs> Love That's me true. some bouncer I mean, like that. I do want to yeah. try and fathom at some point. I'm not a big Cthulhu fan, but I'll give it a shot for reasons. But I don't know how to do the Cthulhu thing. Yeah. There you go. Okay. All right. <laughs> that was my 56 last time. Like I said, it got punitated. I just oh, didn't get yeah. a play in it. All yeah. right. So the last one on my list go is one of my faves. It kind of Ooh, dropped a little one. bit too. I think yeah. it's just kind of settling. Um, there's so many, Getting so many, settled. so many good games. This is kind of kind of dropping steadily. And okay, so you've had this on here for several years. Yep, it was my 2018. It was my 27, and then 32, and then 50, and now 81. That's so a little bit of a drop. A little bit of a drop, but that's okay. It's still a great game, and that is hey. Queen Bra. Oh, Queen Bra. Has it really been around that many years now? Queen Bra. It still feels like it's new. 2018. Oh my gosh. That's like four decades ago, right? Coimbra. <laughs> Bruh. Coimbra. Yeah, Bruh. It's, my, it's my 64. Bruh. My 64. Okay, so same, same general area. Same ballpark ish. It's funny that same two, uh, oh, no, I did. two uh, dice drafting games are kind of. Yeah, I was going to say, you had a little bit of a theme going on here. But anyway, Coimbra, like I said, it, like I just said, it's a dice drafting game. It's got a lot of things I like. I like, I like having, uh, we're moving around on map. You're getting like you some, some superpowers and some benefits from moving around though? the map. Huh? Are you on a boat, though? Not a boat. I don't yeah. think there's rivers. I think it's just roads. But anyway, moving around on the map, moving up all these tracks, and you're uh, fulfilling contracts. All great things Super I, fun. I, I, I love to do. Yep. Contracts, they're uh, achievements, in-game scoring. Yeah, the in-game. Goals. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have to get, but you have to fill, you have to like actually not just go for the goals, but put in that you want to get yes, the you goal. Have to, you have to pay a fee. You have to pay. That's right. You have to buy into the in-game. Otherwise, scoring. you don't even get it at the end. It stinks. You got to remember to set aside money for it. Yeah. Oh, so your dice, you're drafting those dice to use those dice to draft cards. The cards do immediate effects. They have every round That's effects. Good. They have in-game scoring effects. They help mm -hmm. you move up to different tracks. The tracks give you different uh, incomes. They give you two different. There's two different uh, currencies. There's like money and knight something attacking guard something like that. I think it's guard it's incoming. Coins and guards, something like that. Anyway, two different incomes. There's stuff that give you victory points, I'm stuff that helps you move around on the too. map. I think you're Lots right. Lots of Yuri goodness going on, mm -hmm. uh, but the main drivers is that dice drafting, which in turn you use to draft cards. Um, yeah. Really cool. Really great game. Good game. Uh, if you're looking for a, a nice, smooth, midweight Euro, this is one. I bet this is in the 90 minute -er. Yeah, I think it's at 75 to 120 minutes, and I think for us it was right around that hour and a half mark. Yeah, so it's in so, the 90 minute or -er. yeah, because um, I was peeking for that too, and it's it's just for two players and in particular it was yeah hour and a half I want to say, and it was another one of those that's really fun, a lot of good choices. Yeah, yeah. So if you're thinking, oh, 90 minutes sounds a little long for this, it's not because you're always making really cool decisions. 
So. Love it. It's a good one. Uh, I like good. dice drafting. I like a lot of it's things. It's pretty, too. It's, got, it's just a pretty board. It's got, like, they took all a bunch of mechanisms I like, threw them in a blender, kind of stirred it up. Oh, you don't want to stir it. You push the button for a board. <laughs> okay. And he poured out, and he got a nice little margarita Euro game. I don't know what that means. It's but messy. <laughs> I love, I love me some Coimbra. How do you say it? Coimbra. Say it. Ro, 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 Coimbra. Oh, I, <laughs> like that? I, I, you, you, you I can't hate roll. people that can do that. <laughs> he hates me. Also. I can't snap my fingers, and I can't roll my R's. You can't R's. snap your fingers? No. I can hear you. You're snapping. It's barely hear it. It's not like, pow! People can... <laughs> on people that both, note, both on that note, <laughs> we're going to roll up out of here. But <laughs> roll, roll dice. Anyway. Um, roll out of here. As always, I'll give you a sneak peek. <laughs> as always, I'll give you a sneak peek of the next list. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what? Oh, my. Oh, dear. What? Oh, my. All this time. This, this, is, this is where I... I, I, uh, I <laughs> what is happening? All this time, I've been saying there's one game that was off my list that came back on my list. There's another one. Oh, you just discovered one? I just discovered a second one. How did I miss that? Well, surprise! I am so sorry. So next time, there is only one new game. One new game and another returnee. Apparently, there's they're they're like they're like uh they're dividing like like si single cells. What are they called that? I've been uh, spending too much time with this genotype. Is what, what I'm is here. it? What's it called when they uh, mitosis? When, yeah, whatever. When the cells divide. Anyway, <laughs> there's apparently a second one that was <laughs> off my list mitosis. that came back on my list. Wow, <laughs> I feel a little bit embarrassed. <laughs> so there's a second one. So <laughs> so one new game, one returnee that I didn't know about, and eight other games that are not new to my list. So this is kind of like the uh, the uh, Hanger Honors. Hanger Honors. The Hanger Honors. The Sticker Rounders. I don't know what that means. I think we'll send it here. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Click subscribe to join our wonderful viewer community. Want to be notified when we upload a new video or go live? Click on the little bell below.